Welcome to my life on paper. I am Brianna and welcome back to Baby Got Scraps where it is a series all the month of January where we just take one 12 by 12 piece of paper and the rest scraps. I'm also playing along with the D big December sketch fest with Scrap with Sketch. Um, today is I am using sketch number 12 and the challenge is to use monochromatic, which I will be doing. I am using a uh, picture from Disney where the girls were trading pins uh, and uh, Jillian's got on yellow as well as the gentleman that is trading with them. So I thought it would be fun to go with yellow. Yellow is something I don't usually go for for monochromatic, although I don't know. <laughs> monochromatic, I usually do red, um, maybe blue. I really do enjoy a good monochromatic layout. It's my favorite. So I've already taken out um, from my scraps box uh, my yellow piece of paper. Yellow is one that I don't have a lot of scraps on. If you if you go into my red or blue, they're like packed, but there is limited to, to choose from. So I choose chose the the kind of the bigger pieces, and um, was able to use pretty much. Well, there's maybe two that I didn't end up using. It was kind of like a jigsaw puzzle where you're looking for the right pieces to to kind of fall into place to use. Um, this was a it's a this is a really good sketch to use with scraps. Um, I, I like all the 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 mats the layers. I don't do that a lot, so this was a this is a good one. Um, so scrap a sketch is a Facebook group as well as a website. I will have them linked both below. You can go to the Facebook group and add your a picture of your layout to the album, and you don't have to have a video. Uh, it is just for the for the pictures um, of the of the layouts that you've done, and then you'll be entered into a drawing um, if you put your picture if you put your layout into the album, following the prompts. Now that I've got all my layering done, my next issue is that I've got this white piece of paper. I can only use one 12 by 12, and I don't have a big enough piece of paper to go the other half of the layout. So I go into my white paper, and this is an off-white, but it looks a little bit yellowish, and I'm going to use it because it's a scrap, and I don't have a big enough scrap of yellow. I'm going to use that to do the half a page. I'll use the yellow piece there as the the background piece. And then I'll go back to those scraps that I pulled out and then I will um, punch a border for that. And I didn't record me punching the tickets, but these uh, creative memories borders, I have quite a few. They're so super easy to, they punch so nice. Uh, they're my favorite. I do have some EK Success and I have some Martha Stewart as well, but these, for lack of a better term, punch like butter. They're, they're so nice. So I, I'll get the ones, I don't like to get really themey ones, so like I don't usually get like snowflakes or Christmas or anything like that, but like the tickets are perfect, and I'm going to cover up most of these anyway, but the tickets are so perfect for Disney, so... Um, that I was laying out in my craft room, so I just decided to use that. Now I go into my stash of my Disney things, and I'm really looking for things that are obviously yellow. Um, and then it's not that easy. <laughs> if, if you might know that already, but uh, the Disney things, you know, that's the red, yellow, blue, but to just get the yellow. And, and you know, we can use black and white as well. Um, here I'm even dabbling, well... There's a couple colors on there, but that's that suitcase is mostly yellow, so I'm okay with that. I don't end up using that title on the top because I end up finding a more of a yellow one, so I was happy with that. Scrap a Sketch, like I said, is not only the Facebook group, but it's also a website, and it's with Lisa Sikorsky. She has exclusive sketches that she makes. I just love them. You can use them over and over again. On her website, she has um, printables, and then she also has stencils, but then she also has paid um, sketches. Um, I am still working through all the, the sketches that are on the Facebook group yet, so I haven't explored those at all. Although I did buy some printables. They, they had been on sale. Um, so I have some Christmas printables that I'm enjoying using. 
here I have creative memory, believe it or not, make some of these Disney themed um, embellishments. So I found the cute tag. Um, I do believe the, the castle is from that, the, the camera, um, the arrow. And so I'm just finding, I'm, I'm having better luck with this pack to find those black and, and yellow and white things. And so I'm going to move those around and get those glued down. That little piece, that little ticket says sweet. And I'm help, happy with the mixture that I have there. I will go to my chipboards and you'll see me in a minute. Um, there are just some teeny tiny little stars on, on the chip, chipboard sheet that I'm going to punch out and use those. Um, it takes me a minute because they're not super easy to punch out. I think that little piece says yum, um, but they're super little teeny tiny stars. And, and uh, together they make a little bit of an impact. So I thought I would use a bunch of those together on the tag. So once I get those all punched out, I will go ahead and I'll adhere down everything to my page. Some things do move around a little bit, um, but I want to get everything balanced out. And in the sketch, you'll see those um, flowers are on the right side and the left side of the photo. So I kind of want to mimic that as well. Here I will use my ATG to get the tag down as well as the, um, the banner, the title, which says best day ever. The suitcase is going to get adhered to the left of the photo. And then I will work to on the items on the right of the photo. I move the things around a little bit on the right. You know, the, the castle pulls a lot of black there, but eventually I do believe that's where that um, the castle kind of rests. It kind of fits in that spot there. And I do have black around the rest of the page as well in the other clusters. Um, I will use that, the polka dot journaling box. I will get that down. Um, below the photo, kind of where the journaling is on the sketch. And I also like the idea of that, the arrow there saying happiness starts here. Um, it wasn't the beginning of our, our day at Disney, but that was one of the kids, the things the kids looked forward to were, were trading the pins. And I'll have another arrow on the other side. And then I have this little ticket that says sweet and the the camera and i'll get those last little things glued down and then i'll i'll use my liquid glue for the little tiny stars because i don't can't imagine how i would use the atg for those tiny little stars so um the liquid glue that i use is barely art glue uh it does a great job i probably see this every video but i do love it um, does a great job in that it dry. It, you can't mess it up. Like it, even if you use a lot of glue, it's going to dry clear and you won't be able to see it. So I really like the way that that works. Um, then I, I have these Nouveau glitter drops on my desk. So I'm just going to use those in three in each cluster and that will be it for me. I want to thank you so much for sticking with me through the end. Um, thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate you so much. I love hearing all the comments. I hope you have a fabulous day and I hope to see you again soon.